So here we've got a Volkswagen Caddy. Now the owners complained about the thing's noisy and echoey. And look, part of the reasons, uh, all the exposed sheet metal here, you tap on these wheelhouses, and they're all pretty light. So what we're gonna do is, we're gonna use our dampening sheet, which is our stage one sound deadener. We're gonna apply that to the wheel arches and to these side panels. Next, we're gonna use our van liner on the side walls up here. Now, this will offer a bit of sound absorption and also thermal insulation, but what it's also gonna do is set us up so we can use our stretch carpet and we can upholster over this to make sure it's a nice, neat finish. By adding a textile finish to it, with this here is also gonna help with the noise to reduce the noise and the echo in the cabin space. The four-way stretch carpet will also go nicely over this, so we'll end up having this totally upholstered through here and through here, and we've chosen a, a dark grey to match in with the colour of the vehicle that'll almost look like a factory finish. So we'll get into it, and you can watch step by step how we do it. So we've moved our rear door card on this caddy and you can see the factory attempt at what they've done. They've put something there on a 45 degree angle, which comes down to the old analogy, there's a certain percentage. But looking at this and reality says, when I tap on it, the panel's still quite drummy. So what we're gonna do is work around that. We'll probably just go over it and cover most of it. And so you can see now in our rear door, we've covered it with our damping sheets. We'll tap on it now it's got rid of a lot of that panel resonance was there. So we're gonna get a better result, particularly at the back of the car where all the noise comes up. So we've got our stage one deadener on here, on the wheel arches and on the side panels. It's taking the drumming out of those areas. The next thing we're gonna do is use our van liner, which is a 10 mil peel and stick foam. So what we've done is we've made a template just using a plastic film. We put some spray adhesive on here, tack this on lightly, drew around it with texture, and then we laid that on our foam and just cut this out with a knife and scissors. Now we've got this ready, so you can see here, this guy works quite well. He's gonna go over this structure panel here. We've sort of chamfer cut this too, so it'll blend out nice here, because our end goal is to put carpet over this, and you can see the foam fills that out nice, that will carpet right up to this edge. So we'll do another template again with this film, so that's ready to go. We'll get that guy stuck on there and then carpet over it. We're gonna carpet directly over the wheel arches here. That'll make this thing look beautiful and finished. So we've got our film stuck on now. We've gone around with the texter and we've marked right into that tangent there. Mark the top, so top of car. And we're going to mark the front of car, so FOC. Reason is the carpet has a pile, a direction. All carpet's different, but you might find some has a direction. So you want to make sure when you cut your carpet, you plan it out that you know which direction that pile's going, because it's something that if you do brush the face of it, maybe the colour will look different the way the pile's fallen. So we mark that, we know which way our template is. We'll take it off, put it on our carpet and cut it to size. So you can see inside now, we've got our finished carpet. 
on our wheel arches, we had our sound deadener, so the damping's good, and then we've gone and used our stretch carpet to cover it over it. So it is fairly forgiving, that carpet, that you will get a fair bit of stretch out of it. And you can see on that uh, rear window panel, that's got our foam, and it's got our dampening sheets on it. So by having a textile face in here is gonna help with that inbound sound, whether you're talking or playing music, but it's gonna absorb a bit of the sound rather than just bounce off and echo straight back around the car. So all in all, the color fits well. So that's our mid gray. We've also got a lighter version and a black. We've used just over a box of our stage one sound deadener. We used two meters of our van liner and a couple of meters of carpet. So all this took us around four hours to do. It's something that's very easy and achievable for most people.